All right, today I'm resurrecting an old Lenovo desktop. I don't know the actual. Well, yeah, here it is, a 3000J series. Um, it uh, apparently had Windows 7 on it. <clears throat> I guess uh, hard drive's been taken out. I think it had video driver issues, but we've got an extra video card here. So we're going to install this and test it out. So, yep, I got to get me a uh, hard drive, and uh, which I happen to have. I got three of them sitting here, so we'll stick one in and uh, maybe load it up with uh, Windows 7 and uh, try it out. Okay, what we'll use is uh, I got a 250 gig Mac store. This is an old refurb hard drive I've had for ages in one of my old machines. May 19, 2006 is the date code. We're going on 10 years old with this one. But, you know, I'm just re really just trying to resurrect it, so I'm uh, not concerned, you know, about uh, the age. I just want to see if it works. Maybe I'll hold on to it, maybe I won't. And the video card, I had to do some research because there's nothing labeled. It's an ATI X300 64 megabit DDR PCI Express low profile with TV out. So, I uh, don't who would watch uh, TV on an old PC like this if it can even be done. Uh, I guess it could if you got one of those HD TV tuners because it's got the 1X um, setup. So, yeah, I guess theoretically you could, but. We're not going to use it for TV out. We're just going to simply, uh, uh, you know, use it for monitor purposes to make sure the monitor works. And uh, again, we'll probably load Windows 7 on here and uh, go with it because it's already got one disk drive. I'm not going to put another one in, um, so we'll just leave that as is. And I believe, um, no, it's an that is an IDE. Yeah, sure is. I'll just leave that alone. It's already hooked up on the motherboard, so yeah, I'll just leave it alone, and it's already got the SATA uh, connection for the hard drive here, so, yeah, and power supply, so yeah, we'll just go with that. That will work. All right, well, let's get started and uh, see if we can fire this thing up. Well, of course, didn't realize that after making that uh, little video clip. This is a, you know, again, low profile, I guess, didn't sink in that, uh, you know, it'll work in here, but uh, <laughs> it's not, you know, properly you know, seated on the back there, on the back panel. So I've actually got another video card here. Uh, looks like it's a diamond something or other. Uh, diamond multimedia, and it's just a VGA basic video card. So yeah, since onboard video apparently does not work, we'll just go with this one instead. Um, I don't know what the specs are on it, from what I can tell. It's uh, part number 2315013-401, so I'll look that up real quick. Okay, this is a uh, 16 megabit SD RAM. Um, apparently, this thing's worth a little bit of money after doing a little research, anywhere from $65 to $95. So yeah, it's just a regular PCI uh, video card, but uh, huh, I'll keep that in mind. But, yeah, we'll just use this one instead. And uh, notice it didn't have any RAM, so I broke out a RAM stick. I'm not sure how many gigs that is, but we'll find out because I don't have a clue. And, um, yeah, so now we'll just continue to get pieces in here and, again, see if we can get it fired up. And upon further review, of course, it doesn't have a fan in here, and I'm all about ventilation, so it's got a fan on the back. I like that. So I guess we'll dig in my junk pile because I got plenty of fans. Uh, let's see. Well, we got this compact one. I don't know, Rosewill, 80 millimeter. Uh, we got plenty of 120 millimeters. Can't use them though because they're too darn big. And what we got here? Well, yeah, we might be able to use this one. It's a LED, but yeah. untangled. Oh my goodness, for freak's sakes. Hold on. Yeah, actually with the hard drive going where it is, this thin one's probably going to be a better option. So I'll go ahead and pop that in as well. Yeah, a little bit of cleaning out. 
that'll help. Okay, fans in. If you can tell. There. So that's done. I'll continue on. Okay, hard drive is in. Not connected yet, but flip that RAM over and uh, lo and behold, decal shows it's a KPR 5300 slash 2 gig of RAM. So one 2 gig stick. It looks like we'll just put it in dim slot number one in there, which is the blue one. So we get that in. Well, I don't know if you can tell, but it's in there. In there pretty easy. So yep, we got the video card in, hard drive, fan, and now we got a gig of RAM. Um go ahead and connect everything up and we're about ready to fire it up, I think. Okay, well it was working. I'm just powered on by itself, but we'll go ahead and try it again. Going through that miscellaneous box of junk from the previous video. I actually found some useful cables and things, so uh, yeah, I'm going to try out this keyboard and mouse. The other one was actually um, I don't think it's going to work. Lenovo system is starting. Now I got an XP operating system on that old hard drive, so I just want to see if this thing will work. So far, it looks like it. Yep, Windows XP. And hey, I'm not even going to hook it up to the internet right now. I'm just testing it because I'll have to load Windows 7 if I decide to keep it. So, yeah. yeah it probably doesn't like the operating system on it because it's conflicting with some stuff, so it's already rebooting. So, yeah. That just tells me it's, you know, on the hard drive. Overall, though, I mean, monitor works. That's a good thing. That uh, video card, PCI video card, is working just fine. Start Windows normally. Well, I don't know. We'll start it in safe mode, just to be on the safe side. Blah, blah, blah. Partition. Uh, it's loading in safe mode. But, uh, yeah. Everything looks like it's working. I feel, yeah, fans working. Fan back there is working. Processor fan. The RAM. Still going through its thing. Yeah, processor's working. It's kind of curious to know what's on here. Windows is starting up. Yeah, this monitor is probably on its way out as well. Alright. Get the optical mouse to work here. I probably want to go in their administrator. That's I don't have a password for that one. Let's go back under black and date, which was the uh, Old computer sitting back behind the chair. All right, let me do some finagling on this thing here. Hold on. All right, if we're finally waking up, mouse works. Still in safe mode. Yes, I know. Get into the start menu. Yeah, there's the old. Come on. Alright, control panel. So I wanted to see what I got on this thing. Processor, RAM, all that. Found new hardware. What could it have found? All right, system. All right, still service pack three. AMD 64X2 dual core. All right, 3600 processors, basically a one point, uh, 
Oh, basically almost a 2 gig. Yep, shows 2 gigs of RAM. So good. That'll uh, that'll work. And yeah, so okay, so I got an AMD processor on here. But yeah, everything seems to work just fine. What is this new hardware? Um, SM bus controller. Yeah, why not? If it's on XP. I don't really think. I nope, can't install it. Alright, so no big deal. I'm not worried about that. Ethernet controller. Oh boy. So I may not even be able to get on internet. Nope. So, ah, no biggie. Alright, well that's what I wanted to find out. That's the main thing. I'm just resurrecting this thing. Hard drive, RAM, video card, and a case fan for the hard drive. So, Windows has finished installing new devices. Do I want to restart? No. Because I'll wind up putting XP or Windows 7 back on this thing anyway. Maybe. If I decide to keep it. But yeah, main thing here. I just wanted to make sure it works. And it does. So there you go. Another computer resurrection. This is a Lenovo 3000J series AMD processor. Windows Vista rated. It's got NVIDIA graphics, but pfft, apparently the onboard NVIDIA graphics failed. So now it's got a Diamond multimedia video card for uh, for video. So there you go. Another fun computer video. So thanks for watching.